Just like my thumbnail shows, it's more of a... I, I mean, what are these things? Well, it's another episode of Come On Shop Disney. Really? I know that both of these are pins. I'm very surprised and happy that this is in an envelope and not in one of these. This is one of those little bubble wrap bags. This one is just a envelope. I'm ecstatic that they came in this versus a gigantic box. This time, I'm completely floored. I don't know what else to say other than let's get into these. First one is the bubble wrapped package. Now I ordered this on August 15th. I received it September 4th. This is the Pixar pins. This is from the first set. I just don't understand why it took so long. That's a long gestational period for them to get here. These are actually in very good condition. I'm very impressed that they came in this envelope. Thank you so much, Shop Disney. I received the Alien Remix here. This is Anger from Inside Out, and this is Buzz Lightyear from, obviously, Toy Story. Very happy with those. I'm gonna lay those right over here. Now let's get into the next package. Gotta make sure everything's at the bottom when you're cutting it open. Don't want to cut into your special items. Packing slip. And then we have the Dumbo pins from the Minnie Mouse collection. This is the one that I really wanted. T and I have really been getting into Dumbo lately. Are they not just so cute? This cost $20. That's not too shabby because these are really swanky looking pins. And I like how it comes in this little cellophane bag and everything, but they're in good condition. I originally ordered these on August 21st. I didn't receive a tracking number until August 28th, and they were officially delivered on September 4th. It is in good condition. The only thing is that it looks like just because of the way that it was in there with no bubble wrap, it did a little bit of this in the package. There's three corners, one, two, three, good shape. Corner up here is dinged in. I'm gonna attribute that to the fact that it's in a non-protective bag. I think it would have done better in this one, but I'm still happy that it wasn't in this type of box where it would literally been sliding around and banging all over this thing. So thanks Shop Disney for finally getting your head on straight about using plastic bags instead of giant boxes. Shop Disney, this is one of the very few times where I can actually say, wow, you did it right. Nice thin bubble wrap bag, not a gigantic box where everything is bouncing around inside of it. And I want to emphasize the fact that I appreciate that. My items came in good condition. I don't understand why it's so hard. So whoever put my stuff together here, give him a commendation because this is the first time in months that I've gotten anything that has not been damaged and has been packaged correctly. Have you received anything from Shop Disney recently where you just went, oh my goodness, they finally did it right. They packaged my items appropriately. Or have you continued to get this size box for something like this? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. I'm gonna keep writing my little letters to Shop Disney and let them know what's continuing to go on and that I am pleased with the way these ones were packaged. So until then, remember, no capes.